Episode 24. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Today there is a good bit of questions, so let's get started right off the bat with EK Extras, and he says, Who do you think is the prettiest girl in Star Wars besides Princess Leia? Um, so essentially you're asking me who's my Star Wars crush, I guess, um, which is a very interesting question. Um, and to answer your question, I think I'm going to go with Rey. I know that she's an overpowered character and not many people really care for her and she's in movies that aren't very good. Um, but in terms of looks, I think she's very pretty. The actress that plays uh, Rey, Daisy Ridley, is very pretty herself. So, yeah, I'm going to say Ray. So, there you go. Next question comes from Jedi something. I'm 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 sorry I don't know how to pronounce that second part, so I'm just going to say Jedi. Um but anyways, he says, "Nice video." So, first of all, thank you. I don't know if you're talking about the one that you commented this on or if you're talking about this one you're watching, but I'm going to assume you're talking about both. So, thank you very much. And he says, "Can you play Battlefront 2 2017. As you can see, I am playing for you, so you're welcome. Um, and I'm not very good at it, so please don't uh, get mad. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Next question comes from Ace Game Studios, and he says, If Squadron gets a post-launch content, what Starfighter would you like to see added, or what map? Um, truth be told, I have not been following anything from Squadrons, even since I've now learned that it's not just a VR game. So, I have, like, no clue about anything. So, like, if I said, oh, this would be cool, someone would probably be like, this is already coming in the game. So, um, <laughs> I have no comment for this. I just, eventually I might watch some, like, Squadron stuff, but right now I actually have no clue, like, even anything like I just know the name of the game you know so uh yeah I'm, I'm not tr truth be told I'm not very excited because I like Starfighter Assault in Battlefront 2 um I, I should say I did I don't anymore it's boring now but I just I'm like really that's all we get like I want another Jedi Fallen Order game or I want them to keep updating Battlefront 2 I don't want a game about flying in space you know that, that's just my personal opinion. But uh, anyways, let's move on to the next question. Next question comes from the Lego Pog, and he says, Nice. I'm sorry for being inactive. Anyways, so that's okay, man. That's, I understand if you're busy. Um, <laughs> anyways, would you be interested in reading the Harry Potter books and getting the sets? Um, so... No, probably not. I'm not a huge reader, uh, as you can probably tell when I read these comments like an idiot. Uh, <laughs> but I just, I'm not a huge fan of reading personally. Uh, like, I like reading comments and stuff, so keep them coming. Um, <laughs> but, and to get the Lego sets, you know, I would love to. That I think that would make really good reviews on my channel someday. Um, but right now, no, because, you know, money is a thing that I'm not... I don't have a lot of, I guess I should say. Um, so, like, if I started getting Lego Harry Potter sets, I wouldn't be able to get all the Star Wars sets I want. Uh, it's bad enough I'm getting Minecraft now. So, um, someday, I hope to be able to get the Harry Potter sets because they are really cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, moving on to our next question it comes from Jawa. And he says, what's your first Lego set? I honestly cannot totally remember um but i believe my very first ever lego set was the battle droid battle pack i can't remember which year it's from so don't quote me on that um there's one on screen right now you can look at but i also remember and i don't know the name off uh, uh the i messed that up i don't know the name of this set off the top of my head but it was like I'll try to find a picture of it, too. It was a Mars mission. I think that's what the theme was called. Um, like, little plane kind of thing. I I remember that, like, very clearly. Like, being... I think that was my very first ever Lego set. Uh, a Lego Mars mission set. So, that's really cool. I always loved that theme. I don't really care for it anymore. Um, and, you know, I think it's, like, super expensive now. But, um, you know, so that's really cool. So... 
But I believe it was those two sets. I'm just going to call them both my very first sets because I remember getting them both. And that's kind of what got me into Lego. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, our next question comes from Deepest Assault. And he says, what is your opinion on off-brand Lego like Mega Bloks? <laughs> Does that answer your question very clearly? I do not like anything Lepin, Mega Bloks, Duplo. Well, no, actually, I do like Duplo because Duplo is Lego. Um, Creo, I think there was a brand called once. That any crap that's not Lego but is supposed to be building blocks like Lego is just garbage to me. And I would highly recommend that you just get the good stuff, which is Lego. Also, real quick, just want to throw in the people that like invented Lepin or whatever. I don't really know how exactly what all this story is, but uh, went to jail for like several years and has like a huge lawsuit for copying Lego. So that's another reason why you shouldn't be buying knockoff brand stuff because uh, it's technically like illegal, like just get the good stuff, you know? It's not that much more expensive, and at least you know it's real and better quality and everything, so it's just like, it just makes sense to me, right? Anyways, our next question comes from EK Stylord, and he says, do you think Disney and Lucasfilm will make Star Wars Legends movies? Um, you know, I don't know, maybe that would be really cool, but I don't think so, because for some reason, I know some things are cool, like The Mandalorian, but for some reason, Disney, since they took over, wanted to make their own stuff and so i know they're making like the high republic and everything which is kind of like the old republic so i think we'll get something similar but i personally don't think they're ever going to make like a knights of the old republic movie or tv show or anything um or like introduce luke's wife because i think he had like a wife and palpatine had like a clone well i guess they kind of did that i don't even know like, I think they're going to continue to borrow and steal ideas from Legends, but I don't think they're going to actually ever turn, like, Legends into canon or make Legends into a canon movie or TV show, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, that's just my personal opinion, though. Of course, if you guys think otherwise, that's totally fine, uh, you know. So, anyways, our next question comes from Treeman65, and he says... Uh, I started school today, so can't watch this earlier. By the way, that's okay. Like, just take your time with school. Make sure you're actually paying attention. You know, it's it's even though it sucks, it's good for you. Um, anyways, I just wanted to throw that in real quick. Uh, he says, by the way, who is your favorite gaming YouTuber? If you have one, mine is Markiplier. Um, so I'm not huge on Minecraft gameplay videos but i do really like hermitcraft if you guys know what that is it's a server um that plays like hermitcraft because other than that i pretty much don't watch any video game channels um so yeah i'm gonna go with uh, hermitcraft and then if you know what hermitcraft is pretty much all the hermits so i it's hard for me to pick like one um so i'm gonna just say hermitcraft and then yeah, so, um, but that's very cool, and I'm going to actually turn that question around and ask you guys, um, I guess besides you, Tree Man, because you already answered by, yeah, um, but who is your favorite video game channel on YouTube, or channels? You could list a couple, like if you have a top five or something, that'd be cool to see. I'm just genuinely curious, uh, so yeah, go for it, do it. Do it. Do it. Anyways, our very last question of the day comes from Lego Dafir Studios, and he says, What do you think is a better set as your preference? Diagon Alley or the UCS Mos Eisley Canteen? Uh, Cantina. Honestly, I think I'm going to have to go with the Cantina just because I'm more of a Star Wars fan than I am a Harry Potter fan. Although I will say... Diagon, Di Diagon Alley, I think that's how you pronounce it, is a very cool, like, set, like, that comes with a bunch of little built, well, I guess they're pretty big, honestly, like, builds, it, it's very cool, um, I would say, honestly, I like them equally, but they're both way too expensive for me, and I don't have the space to display them either, so, yeah, uh, it, that's a really tough one, but I guess I'm gonna pick, uh, the Cantina just because I'm more of a Star Wars fan. Uh, his other question, his too, says, how many sets do you have in your collection? Honestly, man, I couldn't tell you because 
I have a couple sets, like some brickheads that I've never done reviews on. Um, I'm almost approaching 100 reviews of LEGO Star Wars sets. So that means I have at least almost 100 LEGO Star Wars sets, not counting the brickheads I didn't ever review. Um, and then I think I have like three more micro fighters in my closet that I still haven't opened and reviewed. So I'm like, we'll just stay over a hundred, but I know that's not like a whole, whole lot. So, um, but yeah, so, and then he also says, thanks for reading. Hope you have a, or hope you and your family are in good health. God bless. P.S. Yes, I love pies. Lol. Like, who doesn't? I know, totally, right? Uh, so thank you very much for all those kind words. Also, I very much appreciate that. Uh, I hope your family is doing great as well in good health. I hope all of you are doing great and having a fantastic day. Um, hopefully this video made your day just a little bit better as well. Because that is actually the end of today's video. So thank you all very much for watching. Uh, make sure you comment a question down below. So that way I can answer it in the next episode of ASA. Also, one more thing, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and for now, take care and have a wonderful day.